Stay tuned because Good Sports is coming up next. Kansas City Sports and Fitness is the magazine for sports fans in KC. Inside, we cover local sports and local teams from pro to peewee and everything in between. And this month's free copy of Kansas City Sports and Fitness includes the Surplus Exchange College Sports Report. You'll find Kansas City Sports and Fitness all over KC at places like the Kansas City Ice Center. And it's free, so pick one up today. This show was recorded live on Saturday, April 6th. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Welcome to Good Sports, the Kansas City Sports and Fitness Show. Now, this segment is presented by Kansas City Chiropractic. Casey Chiropractic understands the high pressure demands placed upon individuals in the workplace and the athletic demands people place on their bodies. And they offer the care that can relieve pain and stress and improve overall health. You can call them at 816-753-4600 or visit KansasCityChiropractic.com. Hello, everyone. I am Steve Fish. I am the publisher of Kansas City Sports and Fitness Magazine, and you're watching or listening to Good Sports, the Kansas City Sports and Fitness Show. Now, today we're coming to you from the Kansas City Ice Center, which is located on Johnson Drive, two miles west of 435, where you can now skate on their indoor rink or their brand new outdoor ice pavilion. Come on out and roller skate on their outdoor pavilion or ice skate on their indoor rink. You can call them at 913-441-3033 or visit their website, kcicecenter.com. And for more details, you can get more details on their classes and public skates. Plus, you can find out more about their leagues and their learn to skate and learn to play hockey programs on their website as well. Now, today we're taping our radio show, which is on ESPN 1510 on Saturdays at 8 a.m. and Sunday evenings at 9 p.m. on 102.9 and 1040 a.m. And we're also taping our TV show, which can be seen on Sure West Cable on Channel 7 at 9 a.m., 5 p.m., and 9 p.m. every single day. And now you can also view our show and many of our past shows on YouTube. All you have to do is search for the Good Sports Channel. Now, before we get started with the show, I want to tell everyone that our current issue of Kansas City Sports and Fitness is available free at over 700 locations in KC. And this month, with our current issue, KC Sports continues to celebrate our 16th year as the magazine for sports fans in KC. Now, in our current issue, issue, we feature our KC Baseball Report, which is presented by Budweiser. And this month, our writers introduce you to four new members of the Royals, and we outline the top 10 things that must happen if the Royals are going to win the AL Central Division. And in our hockey report presented by the Kansas City Ice Center, we write about the success of the Outdoor Pavilion, which is being converted from ice hockey to inline hockey this month, and we're going to talk about that in this segment as well today. And for a complete list of locations where you can find KC Sports Magazine, visit our website, kcsportspaper.com. You'll find a link to a list of locations right on the front page of the website, and you can actually check out a PDF of the entire issue as well. Now, like I said, we are here at the Kansas City Ice Center. It's been an exciting day today here at KC IC. There's a lot of things going on. They're starting the process of converting the outdoor uh, ice pavilion to a roller rink, and, they, and we're going to talk about that here in just a second. I want to introduce uh, a regular to our show. He is Dean Nelson. He's the general manager of the KC Ice Center and the Outdoor Pavilion, and I want to say I made a mistake there in talking about you guys because I called it the Outdoor Ice Pavilion, which is <laughs> programmed in my head, but it's more than that now. Right, right. It's more than that now. It's going to become a uh, roller for the summer, so or, yeah. or in line, I yeah, guess. Yeah, definitely. Uh, thanks, Steve, and congratulations on 16 years here with the, uh, with the publication and what you're doing, it, it means a lot to us as an organization. You really have helped us along, so thank well, you very, we, very much. Well, we appreciate that, and, and you've got, it's been five or six months now that the outdoor facility has been set up, and you're going through this conversion process right now, but it's been a tremendous success yeah, for really the community has. and for the rink and, and for the kids and the adults that participate in, yeah. in games and, and skates. Right, right. You know, it really has. It's kind of neat because the other night we had uh, the pavilion was still open and we're almost at the end of March. And so we had ice still out there. And, wow. And with the weather that we had here in the area, you know, um, it, it was still cool enough to have that outdoor pavilion going. About uh, four or five days ago, we then went ahead and shut that down. Sure. So we had a very successful 
uh, winter season with hockey and, and public skating, and we even had some of our classes out there, our learn to skate classes out there. So very, very successful uh, winter, and now we're getting ready to transform it. Actually, today they're out there cleaning the ice, and, and uh, we're going to put a uh, ice court down for roller hockey. So it should be a lot of fun. And we'll talk about that in a second. We've got a sample of what the what the court surface is going to look like uh, here. Um, and so what, what happens to the water? Once you melt it down, what happens to the right. water? Is the, does it go across the street to the baseball field? Yeah, right, right. <laughs> you know, actually, I, I was thinking the same thing myself. I was like, you know, where is this water going to run to? And they, uh, you know, put a good drainage system in there. Really? So there must be some type right on the edges, you know, where the uh, glycol system ends, and they put a drainage system on there. So all we were left with was actually our white paint laying on top of the concrete. So now we're pressure washing that off. We're going to have it uh, cleaned, and then we'll be able to lay that ice court. And our hope is with this ice court that we're purchasing, it's a top of the line, and we'll talk a little bit all that Rick Hawkins, our, our uh, uh, talk about that, but uh, it's going to be great. We're going to leave that down, and actually next fall we're going to try to build the ice right over the top of it. Yeah, that's really neat. That's something that we want to talk about for sure. And, and you brought, Dean, you brought two guys in with lots of inline yes. hockey experience. Very we, excited. We talked to one of them a couple of weeks ago, uh, Aaron Smith, who's going to be training kids and things like that. Yep. And we want to introduce Rick Hawkins. Uh, he is the director of inline hockey at the Kansas City Ice Center, and I must say, I checked out your website, and you brought in a a, a great guy because you got this long list of all these all these programs that are already in place and ready to go. Great. Rick knows what he's doing. Welcome to the show, Rick. Thanks uh, for thank joining you. us. Thank uh, you. Let's find out uh, what is your hockey background. Well, I'm from Canada originally, so I. Well, grew there you up go. That's on, that's yeah. all we need to know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, go ahead. Go I, ahead. I, I grew up playing hockey, and uh, as a young kid, obviously, and uh, uh, I played till I was about 14 or so, playing early in the morning and stuff. And hockey's something I really loved. Uh, my parents divorced, and uh, uh, my father uh, brought me here to Kansas City. To, uh, once I got here, obviously I wasn't playing hockey uh, too much, so uh, but I always wanted to. So you've coached it uh, and have a hockey background, but played it? Have you yes. Have you also played it yes, as well I, in like yes. adult leagues and stuff? Yeah, yes, I've played uh, both adult ice hockey and the inline, and actually I still do uh, currently play both. It's a game. It's, to me, it's like riding. You know, I, I hear a lot of parents and stuff say, well, I used to play 10, 15 years ago. And I'm like, geez, it's like riding a bicycle, though. I mean, once you play it, I, I mean. I you, found it amazing. I ha I ran an adult hockey group for many years, and there was a guy that joined us, and he stopped playing when he was 12 yeah. and picked it up in his, his early 30s or mid-30s or something like that. And his skating abilities just came right back yeah. to him. He was great. And his hands came back right back to him, too. It was like, exactly. wow. You know. It, it, that's the type of game it is. I mean, and, and also, you know, it's a game to me, like, when you play it, you love it, and there's no other game like it, I mean, you know, compared to for me. So anytime we can get a chance to play hockey, I mean, I don't care if it's in the basement, on the street, <laughs> uh, on ice, on wheels, whatever, uh, we, we try and take advantage of it. For sure. Now, you put together an organization within here, a, a team called the Cobras. What is the co What are the Cobras? You well, got a logo, you got everything. We're going to show the right, logo. Right, right, right. Well, the Cobras, uh, obviously I knew uh, right away that uh, the organization that we're dealing with here and stuff and, and what these guys have done. Uh, uh, to, to bring us all together and to provide the type of facility that they have um, that, you know, we, we want to get going right away. And, of course, the first thing is you want to name your team. Sure. I mean, that, uh, that kind <coughs> of, you know, says what you are and what you stand for. And, hey, I'm on this team and this is, this is my team. And, you know, so obviously you got to go out and get the name first. And, uh, and uh, so that's what we did there with the name. Okay, so let's talk about what's going to happen in the next couple of weeks outside at the, the center. Um, this is the floor that you're putting in, and it might look pretty smooth. I mean, you can see the holes in it here, but when you rub your hand over it, it's got little bumps on it, which I would assume have to do with helping the wheels grip. Is that is that a correct assessment with this, or is it just the way it's manufactured no. or something like no. that? No. These little tiny that you can barely feel, but they are there, these little tiny... Uh, uh, mark or spots on this tile is actually to uh, keep that puck off the ground and keep it moving for a faster oh, okay. game. Okay. Yeah. These little tiny. Yeah. Just, I mean, they're very tiny bumps, and, and right. on the wheels you wouldn't even notice. No, no. Notice we, them, but you know the pucks. Here are the kind of pucks that you use. They're the same size as a regular hockey puck. They've got these um, surfaces on there that probably also keep it sliding Correct. as well. So it 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 gives the the feel of ice hockey. You know, while you're doing that, and you guys have a, a, a bigger 
platform of, of stuff that you're doing, uh, of this surface that you're doing there, and you could see people passing the puck back yes. and forth just out in the lobby here. And yeah, it moves just like a regular puck on the ice. Yes, and definitely. So these interlink together, Dean. Um, it's going to be a long, uh, I would assume, a semi-long process to just link them together. And, and do you have to slide them under the boards? Are you yeah. going to lift the boards? Actually, they'll, uh, actually, we'll have a crew in here next week. Uh, uh, Rick will go ahead and pick up the tiles. Uh, they're made uh, for the rink, and we'll have a crew in here next week, and we'll place them down, put them together. Uh, we'll have to corner the corners with uh, okay. just regular uh, bench saws, or you know, we'll have to oh, okay. have a couple carpenters in here to help with that. I got so couple. it's going to actually fit just within it's the, fit the, right the, into the, the yep. yeah, you know, it's going to fit right in the board. Okay. So it'll be it will be permanent. We hope you right. know, and and of course with some of the weather, we're a little bit uh, not sure what's going to happen. It will expand, you know, a little bit probably with some of the heat, and and then sure. so we'll probably leave a little bit of a gap. We have a guy that's uh, going to help us with the installation that's done it before. So uh, Nicholas Johannesburg will be mm. on site, and and he is the uh, uh, one that we um, went through with Ice Court to be able to, to purchase this, so we're real excited about it. And it's interesting that it's got the name Ice Court. Yeah, it's I, Ice Court. I, I, yeah, yeah. I, I think that's interesting. I mean, there used to be there used to be I think Sport Court. You know, there used to be well, there is there is Sport Court. Court is a, and, a client of mine, and right? There. And uh, you know, I think this is a new product that's come about, and it's called they call it Ice Court, and, and we they've done tests, and, and and I actually had to go out and chisel away a, a big area of ice out there i placed this down and then uh froze over it during our Did season to test it to yeah. test it to make sure it was the same and, and it made all the tests and we went ahead with the purchase of it and i tell you what the guys and the ownership here have really stepped up to make this one of the top quality uh establishments for inline hockey as well as our ice hockey it's just awesome we're talking with dean nelson who's the general manager of the kansas city ice center and rick hawkins who's the director of inline hockey at the kansas city ice center um anyone who hasn't seen the outdoor pavilion it is a full-size NHL hockey rink. Yeah. You know, I think uh, I was speaking with Rick earlier, and Rick really th thinks that's the biggest attraction for inline. And, uh, you know, I think Rick has taken some teams out of this area, and maybe he can elaborate a little bit on what he thinks the facility is going to bring to to the area. Yeah, sure. I mean, obviously, uh, uh, most of the uh, coaching that I've done at the local uh, Kansas City area here uh, – for the most part, in Kansas City, the uh, the floor design and stuff uh, of what they play on around here is uh, is uh, nothing like you'll play on out of state. Uh, uh, at, whether it be at State Wars uh, tournament in uh, St. Louis, Chicago, or or big tournaments in Colorado, called the Nationals or any of that, all those surfaces out there have this similar type of stuff here. Um, the sport court, ice court type of uh, stuff. Around here, primarily, you have uh, painted concrete mm -hmm. or wood that's uh, varnished over uh, real well and is is slip uh, slick uh, slippery and and that sort of thing. But uh, uh, and that's a downfall, you know, to a certain degree. I mean, you go out and you coach these kids on a smaller facility also because they don't have these full size facilities. Uh, uh, at most of the facilities that I've coached at in the past year. But it's, like I say, it is a downfall because the kids, you coach them on a, on a smaller facility, smaller floor, and, uh, and, 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 and on a surface that, that's completely different to what they'll go on and play when they, when they go play what, the big boys or whatever at the bigger tournaments and stuff out of town. It's a, different, it's a different game if you're playing on a smaller Completely. facility, you know, and, or you have, or on a bigger facility because you have more room to work with exactly. and, and all that. Um, so, um, what are the programs that you guys are putting in place, Rick, um, that uh, people can sign up for, they can sign their kids up? I know you've got, you're doing that today. You're talking to a lot of people today about the different programs. But fill us in on the age that they can start and what kind of programs they can. They we, can are, uh, we are, we have programs here, uh, rec <coughs> hockey leagues, all the way from six and under through adults. Uh, and we plan on uh, having uh, – there will be different divisions, too, for each age group. I mean, obviously, you're going to have the, uh, the elite hockey players, and then you're going to have the beginners. So we're trying to provide a, uh, an outlet for anybody that wants to pick up and play hockey uh, on wheels. Uh, we're going to provide that for them. Uh, we're going to have learn-to-skate programs just like they do in ice, in ice mm -hmm. learn-to-skate on rollerblades. Uh, we're going to have learn-to-play hockey uh, just like they do on ice, and it's going to be similar to the ice organization. Uh, but we will have an outlet for anybody that wants to come and play at any age group uh, and in whatever tier or level that they want to play at. And as far as the equipment that's needed to play hockey on the outside surface, it's very similar to what you use on the inside surface, on the, on the ice surface. Some minor modifications, but fill us in on it. It is very, uh, very similar. There's actually only a couple items. Obviously, the skates themselves. Uh, sure. In inline roller hockey, you're going to have the wheels, the uh, uh, for that, and then uh, 
shoulder pads aren't used too much in inline because they're so bulky and stuff. And, you know, we're trying to be lightweight, and it's, it's in the summertime primarily, and it's warmer and stuff. So some of the people get away from using the shoulder pads. And then the only other, other item, excuse me, uh, really is the pants. I mean, mm-hmm. uh, they use the breezers, of course, and the ice hockey and stuff for padding because that puck's coming at them, uh, you know, quite fast and quite furious. And, it, and it's a heavier puck, and it, it hurts more, it seems like. Uh, <laughs> I've been I've been. How's the goalie? Yeah, it yeah, hurts more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I've been hit with actually one of these pucks with just, uh, back, well, back to the equipment. I mean, the pants. We use a longer type pant, right. uh, almost like a sweat pant and roller, and those are the only different options. I mean, the shoulder pads, the pants, the skates. But I've been hit with one of these pucks several times actually <laughs> coming at you in a slap shot right in the leg where there's no padding. And for some reason, it doesn't hurt near what it does uh, as an ice <laughs> hockey puck uh, getting hit. And I, don't, I have no idea why because they actually they're not that – different in weight well you were trained up in canada yeah (laughs) well you know that too (laughs) um so uh, there's those changes but you know one of the other things that i've noticed over the years is is the jerseys are cool (laughs) the not and i don't mean i don't mean yeah they're cool as well that way but i mean i mean you know we've got an image on dean's ad that's in kansas city sports and fitness and the guys decked out from from you know skates on up and some yes. re- really cool yes. stuff they they go really crazy on the design for those yes. things if you want to go that yes. that route as well uh obviously roller hockey is a bit of a less expensive game to play than the ice hockey and it's mostly just because of the cooling of the right, exactly. of the ice versus that yes. so it's a good opportunity for right. someone that's interested in you know maybe dabbling or trying it or something like that oh, yes. and most kids have inline skates yes. you know now um, the, the the wheels and things like that uh, are a little bit different to, to do what it is that you need to do with that. Is that correct? It's the same thing. I mean, uh, different surfaces require different wheels. Uh, and mainly it's uh, not the size of the wheels because the size of the wheels fit the per skate that you have. But sure. it's going to be the, the softness of the wheels is the difference, uh, whether it be on a concrete floor or like this stuff here, the sport court. It's just what softness to get you more uh, – more stick to the to the tile, so you're not slipping around as much. Right, but also can stop. And and actually, there there are no toe stops, there are no heel stops on the inline skates. So you have to learn to stop like you do on the ice. Right. There there are several kids uh, that can do a stop on this roller stuff, just like on ice. Yeah. Believe it or not. Uh, but uh, for guys like me, the older guys and stuff that are still out here rolling around and can play the game, some of us do that uh, 180 turn yeah, you uh, circle. To, to start <laughs> heading back the other way, and, and that stops us or slows us down quite a bit too. For sure, and then there's the old T-stop that yes. you know probably some people will do as well. You could always tell on the ice when a kid came from a roller background because he would he would start doing the T-stop versus yes. the, yeah. the hockey stop. So, Dean, uh, you're going to have – all sorts of learn to play activities going on in both places and yeah. i expect you're going to have kids that are going to be spending yeah. their day here crossing between the the two facilities a, a long time ago they had an asphalt surface out there and that's where i started right. playing playing some <coughs> of my uh non ice hockey and that's what would w- that's what we saw is there were kids they'd bring their roller skates they'd go out and do something they'd bring their ice skates they'd go right. do a skate a session you know that's what we're thinking we we're hoping uh, you know in the original plans of we have the rink here this is down the, the pavilion is down during the summer what are we going to do with the pavilion yeah. you know and and we thought that hey you know what their hands would be better than or or you know just their strength and all the things that they can learn in one they could take over to the other so that's what sure. we're hoping we are having uh if you do want to try it we are having uh, on the 19th of April is when the floor will be ready and we'll be in we're going to have a public uh you know it's try um roller skating or come on out and try it and then uh that's the night that's our grand opening for the roller and then we also have on the 20th the next day if you go to our website at kcicenter.com and you look at our inline hockey tab you'll see the next day on saturday the 20th i believe it is is we will have all day long try for free right so just like we did for hockey it's try for free try inline for free and it's by your age category and then if you like it and you want to sign up we'll have people on hand here to sign you up so if you have any questions about the inline program or any of our hockey programs that we do around here please go ahead and give us a call down here at 913-441-3033 or go online at kceicecenter.com check out our tabs learn to skate learn to play hockey camps and clinics we'll be talking about those next month yeah which Phil, will be, which give, will be give awesome. us a, l- a little rundown on the camps and clinics that are coming i in. tell you we're yeah, really they excited start, they actually start in july yeah it looks like. yeah so it's coming quicker than you think once oh, you get going so I july know. 15th we're going to do a uh, top speed power skating a, a buddy of mine bryce lampman who is uh, a new york ranger 
and now is playing overseas in Switzerland, I believe. Wow. He's going to come down and do a top speed power skating for me. Uh, and then we're going to do a sniper camp like we did last year that was uh, very popular. We're going to do a five skills of hockey camp. And then, our, of course, our ever popular battle camp with Sean Podine will come back and, and help me out with that a little bit. And then I'm sure we'll come on down and have him on again. And, yeah. and we are just way excited about not only bringing this inline program and guys like Rick and Aaron and uh, to help us, but as well as the uh, ice hockey program. It just seems to be doing nothing but going through the roof around here. So, wow, you can't be more than excited. Well, hockey's growing, and that's fantastic. We still have people, you know, I, I was talking to somebody the other day, and they said, well, you must not be from here because you, you like hockey. And, and it's like, well, that's changing. You know, that's <laughs> it, I, changing, isn't it, Dean? It really is. You know, I mean, I just got off the phone with Tom Tilly, the director, uh, yeah. a little bit earlier today. And, and it's just a good amount of quality personnel, a good amount of quality families, and a, and a good amount of kids really getting excited to play the game of ice hockey. And, it, and I tell you, the biggest change that I saw was adding this outdoor rink and getting mm-hmm. another sheet of ice around here. We can use it for ice roller training facilities wow what a great job by the the casey rink management and the ownership around here to step up and, and really make it a great place for everybody for sure well uh dean give us the phone number again and sure, the, and it's, the website. Ni- sure it's 913-441-3033 go ahead and just ask for myself or anybody here can help you and the website is uh, caseyicecenter.com and uh rick thanks for joining us you, you've got a, a great plan in place to make the roller hockey work here and i'm excited about coming out and seeing what's going on there in the next couple of months thank you thank you for joining us absolutely i appreciate it thank you thank you very much dean for joining us we are going to take a quick break you're watching or listening to good sports casey sports and fitness magazine show we're coming to you from the kansas city ice center which is located two miles west of 435 on johnson drive i am steve fish we will be right back Go online and watch Good Sports, the KC Sports Magazine television show. It's available on the Good Sports KC YouTube channel and features local interviews with local athletes and experts covering sports, health, and exercise topics of importance to KC fans. And be sure to pick up your copy of the new KC Sports and Fitness Magazine. Featuring the Surplus Exchange College Sports Report, the Budweiser Royals Report, the KCI Center Hockey Report, and the Siege Sports High School Report. KC Sports Magazine is always free, so pick one up today. These days, we're all so busy, and many of us ignore our health and let stress turn into chronic pain. Dr. Lynn McIntosh of Kansas City Chiropractic can provide you with the proper care to relieve pain and stress and improve your health and get more out of life. To make an appointment with Dr. McIntosh, call 816-753-4600. Most insurance plans are welcome. And this month, save $25 on Class 4 laser treatment when you mention KC Sports and Fitness. For more information on Dr. McIntosh and Kansas City Chiropractic, go online at kansascitychiropractic.com. With the current trend to live a greener lifestyle, many people and businesses now recycle their electronics. At the Surplus Exchange, your e-waste will never go to a landfill or incinerator, nor will we allow e-waste to be shipped overseas. Some companies employ this tactic and end up polluting other countries with our waste. All materials are safely tracked, destroyed, or reclaimed right here in the U.S. The Surplus Exchange is Kansas City's link between industry, charity, and the environment. To find out more, visit surplusexchange.org. Whether you are playing a sport, running a business, or learning how to use an iPad, your ability to make split-second decisions is essential for your success. Hey sports fans, this is Greg Pryor. I was an infielder in Major League Baseball for over nine seasons and was a member of the 85 World Champion Royals. My decisions in the field and at the plate could have been the difference between winning and losing. Since 1994, I have owned a local health supplement company called Life Priority. Life Priority offers many nutritional formulas that give your body the nutrients that can help your brain keep pace in today's fast lifestyle. To see all 17 Life Priority products, please visit my website at lifepriority.com or call me at 913-438-5433. Use Life Priority products and improve your chances of winning. For free shipping, use promo code LIFEP at lifepriority.com or call me today at 913 913- Four three eight five four three three. Sign up now for Cargo Largo's annual Cargo for Kids Charity Golf Tournament June 21st at Drum Farm. For more details about this event, visit CargoLargo.com slash Cargo for Kids or email info at CargoLargo.com. With your coupon in KC Sports and Fitness, get two large one-topping pizzas for just $14.99 at Mafia Mike's at 87th and Lackman and Mafia Pizzeria Southside at 127th and Metcalf. It's pizza you can't refuse. 
The goal is a new teaching aid to help with your putting by letting you see the line of the putt from the ball to the target. For more information on this new product that can improve your game, visit thegoalofputting.com or call 816-582-3530. Football and tailgating are back at Kemper Arena. The high-scoring and high-impact Kansas City Renegades will bring indoor football back to KC. Tickets to see the Renegades are affordable without a bad seat in the house. Bring your grill and favorite beverage to tailgate before and after the game. The Renegades are primed to make a run for the championship, so secure your season tickets now, starting at $72. Visit kcrenegades.com or call 816-287-0523 to secure your seat in the highest impact sport in Kansas City. Welcome back to Good Sports, the Kansas City Sports and Fitness Show, the show that complements Kansas City Sports and Fitness Magazine. I am Steve Fish. Now, today we're coming to you from the Kansas City Ice Center, which is located on Johnson Drive, two miles west of 435, where you can now skate on their indoor rink or their brand new outdoor pavilion. Come on out and roller skate or inline skate on their outside pavilion or ice skate on their indoor rink. You can call 913-441-3033 or visit their website, kciicenter.com, for more details on classes and public skates. Plus, you can find out more about their leagues, learn to skate, and learn to play hockey programs on their website as well. Now, this segment of Good Sports is brought to you by First Student Charter Bus Rental. Rent a yellow school bus for your next group activity and receive 10% off your trip if taken before March 31st, 2013. So that's, that's passed already, but give them a call. Just mention KC Sports when you call 866-514-8747. Let First Student Charter Bus Rental get your group to the next special event. Choose yellow and choose first. Now in our current issue of KC Sports and Fitness, check out our soccer report presented by the Surplus Exchange. This month we inter in introduce uh, former Wizards great Nick Garcia, who is now the executive director of the Brookside Soccer Club. And we have a story on our indoor football team, the KC Renegades, and the family and community focus on the team, both on and off the field. And you can get your tickets to an upcoming game at Kemper Arena on April 27th, May 4th, and May 25th by calling 816-287-0523 or visiting kcrenegades.com. And that segment, that, that section in our issue is brought to you by Old Shawnee Pizza. And in our golf review presented by the Firekeeper Golf Course at Prairie Band Casino, we write about the course located just north of Topeka, and we tell you what you need to do to get your clubs ready uh, for golf and introduce you to Rob Shipman of the Shipman Golf Academy, who has helped develop a new aid called The Goal, which helps golfers with their putting. Now, you can pick up your copy of KC Sports and Fitness at over 700 locations, including Mafia Pizzeria Southside, Old Shawnee Pizza, Golf MD, Eagles Landing, uh, Golf Course, Minsky's Pizza on Berry Road, and, of course, here at the Kansas City Ice Center. Now, we'd like to welcome some new advertisers to KC Sports and Fitness, and they include Phone Fixes, a cell phone repair business, the UPS stores at 103rd and Warnell and 121st and State Line, Cargo Largo, who's hosting a charity golf tournament on June 21st, and you can learn more at their website, cargolargo.com slash cargo for kids. Heart of America Golf Academy, Hands-On Golf, Mobile Golf Repair, Winterstone Golf Course, and the Sykes Lady and St. Andrews Golf Courses in Overland Park. Now, if you'd like to follow us on Facebook or Twitter, you can go to our website and follow our links to our pages. Our website is kcsportspaper.com. And now you can also view our show, our current show, and some of our past shows on YouTube. Search for the Good Sports KC channel. Now we're going to take a quick break. Uh, you're watching or listening to Good Sports, KC Sports and Fitness Magazine show. Coming to you from the Kansas City Ice Center located two miles west of 435 on Johnson Drive. I'm Steve Fish. We'll be right back. The Kansas City Ice Center's outdoor pavilion is now open. Sign up now for Learn to Skate and Learn to Play Hockey classes, spring leagues for ice and inline hockey, and upcoming hockey camps at the Kansas City Ice Center. Plus, come out to a public skating session or call them to schedule a party or group rental. The Kansas City Ice Center is located two miles west of 435 on Johnson Drive. For more information or to register for a class, visit kcicenter.com or call 913-441-3033. 
Golf Week calls it the best course you can play in Kansas. But once you play, you'll want to stay. Go for it. Firekeeper Golf Course at Prairie Band Casino and Resort is just north of Topeka off Highway 75. Our stay and play package is worth the trip. Luxury hotel room, green fees, and golf cart for two, starting at just $169. For sports like you've never seen before, Siege Sports is the answer. Unique uniforms and superior equipment for your complete athletic experience. Contact Siege Sports at 913-953-8400 or visit SiegeSports.com. Someone has to motivate her. Someone has to prepare him. Someone has to lead them. Someone has to train them. Heritage College. Train to be a personal trainer. Get started today. Call 1-866-845-3613. That's 1-866-845-3613. Two of the finest golf clubs in Kansas City are right in Overland Park. St. Andrews Golf Club at Neiman and 135th Street and Overland Park Golf Club at 125th and Quivera. For tee times, call St. Andrews at 913-897-3804 and OP Golf Club at 913-897-3809 or visit golfop.com. One of the world's top golf club fitters is right here in Kansas City. Golf MD in Lenexa has been helping KC golfers for over 15 years by offering expert service at discount prices. Visit Golf MD for all your club repairs. They do regripping, reshafting, and lie loft and shaft frequency analysis. Plus, Golf MD can fit you in your existing clubs or create custom clubs for you too. And Golf MD also offers computerized swing analysis and launch monitor testing. Visit golf-md.com or call 913-663-5050. The Army Reserve has more than 120 unique career opportunities so you can add to your current strengths or build brand new ones. Join the Army Reserve and you'll make a difference in your life and the lives of others. Learn more at GoArmy.com reserve. For more information, contact the Greater Kansas City Company at 3720 Arrowhead Drive, Suite B. Telephone number 816-531-3818. There's Strong, and then there's Army Strong. Paid for by the U.S. Army. Get 10% off UPS shipping at the two South KC UPS stores with your coupon at KC Sports and Fitness. Bring your next shipment to 103rd between Warnell and State Line or 121st and State Line in Leewood and save 10% on UPS shipping with your coupon in KC Sports. Phone Fix is KC's cell phone repair shop. Save $10 on any repair with your coupon from KC Sports. Call 913-735-9411 or stop by Phone Fix next to Buffalo Wild Wings south of Strangline in Olathe. Lights, camera, action. Would you like to have your business be the site where we shoot one of our good sports, TV, and radio shows? Well, you can. Your show will play 21 times on SureWest Channel 7. You'll get radio and TV commercials all month long, plus an ad for your business in KC Sports and Fitness Magazine, and a whole lot more. TV remote packages start at just $333 a month. For more information on this great TV, radio, and print opportunity for your business, call KC Sports at 913-764-2050. Welcome back to Good Sports, Kansas City Sports and Fitness Show, the show that complements Kansas City Sports and Fitness. I am Steve Fish. Today we're coming to you from the Kansas City Ice Center located on Johnson Drive, two miles west of 435 where you can now skate on their indoor rink and their brand new outdoor pavilion. Come on out and roller skate or inline skate as they call it on uh, their outside pavilion or ice skate on their indoor rink. Call 913-441-3033 or visit their website kciicenter.com for more details on classes and public skates. Plus, you can find out more about their leagues and their Learn to Skate and Learn to Play hockey programs on their website as well. Now, this segment of Good Sports is brought to you by the Surplus Exchange, where you can take a tax donation credit, plus help KC students when you recycle your electronics and office furniture at the Surplus Exchange. For more information, visit surplusexchange.org or call 816-472-0444. I also want to mention some of the experts who each are part of our show during the month. Each has contributed an article to the current issue of KC Sports. They are Dr. Lynn McIntosh from Kansas City Chiropractic, former Royals World Series champ Greg Pryor from Life Priority Nutrition, and Pam Davenport and Billy Taylor, who are instructors at Heritage College. 
Now, in the KC Sports High School Report, which is presented by Siege Sports, we write about Blue Springs High School grad, grad Nick Tepish, who is now a starting pitcher for the Texas Rangers, and we're all proud of that. And I also want to mention that we've teamed up with the U.S. Army and are honoring high school top performers. Each month we award a coach and a student athlete with an award provided by Regal Awards and Advertising Specialties. We also introduce you to a high school student has been, who has enlisted in the Army. And this month our top performers all come from Smithville High. They are basketball coach Trevor Mosby, who led his team to the state tournament this year. And this month, our student athlete is also a future soldier. He is Chris Sammons, who earned all state honors in cross country and has signed a letter of intent to attend William Jewell with an athletic and an academic scholarship. And he goes off to basic training in May. Now, I also want to mention that on April 13th, we will be out at Heritage College to show you their facility and where they educate personal trainers. Plus, we'll be at the KC Ice Center as uh, well in the month of May. And uh, so come on out and join us for that, that event. And one more event that we have coming up on April 27th, we'll be taping our show at Mafia Pizzeria Southside, located at 127th and Metcalf. And our taping usually starts about 1230 that day. Come on out and join us, and you might see yourself on TV. Now, we are joined. We're going to talk about a little bit of different sport than what we've ever talked about, I think, on this show. But it's, it's really, really interesting, and it's going to benefit a lot of people, th this event that's going on. We're joined by Kent Friend. He's the chairman of the Kansas City Derby Fest, which is the most exciting Kentucky Derby party in Kansas City. And it benefits the Alzheimer's Association and is coming up on Saturday, May 4th from 3 to 6 p.m. And we're also honored to be joined by Dr. Russell Swerdlow. He is the director of the KU Alzheimer's Disease Center. Welcome to the show, gentlemen. Thank you for joining us. Thank Hello, you, Steve. Now, now, Kent, you brought in a special guest uh, for the show today. But we couldn't get him to come inside the rink today. We actually probably could have, but I don't know that the rink necessarily wanted him to come in. There's a reason for that. Tell us who you brought along yeah. today. And we're going to show some video Absolutely. as well. Absolutely. I brought one of our retired racehorses named Trick. And uh, Trick's going on 16 years old, but he's had a uh, fantastic life. After he was done racing, he's got to do some of the search and rescue for police in Jackson County Sheriff's Department. And he does parades and all kinds of events. He's had politicians on his back giving uh, different <laughs> speeches. Uh, but he's a real willing participant. But it's, uh, he's had a great afterlife. And most of the racehorses get a pretty good life, not only why they're at the track, but when they're out, you know, Very done nice. with the track. So how long does, do you usually race a racehorse? How many years? Um, most racehorses are going to race up until 9. Some go really? to 10. Um, they're kind of like pro football players. Um, the rest of their body's great, but maybe their knee or ankle gives out. Um, but uh, I had the winningest horse in 2006 in Ohio, and he, uh, he ran five races in 2006 and won, uh, f excuse me, he won five out of seven and took a second wow. and a third. So. That's fantastic. So and he did that at age nine. So Trick, you, you own Trick. Mm -hmm. he, he's one of your racehorses. Where does he stable? He stables at my ranch there uh, just in Kansas City at Saddle Creek Stables. And and you, how many horses do you have out there? Well, we own fifteen of them. Oh we, my! Yeah, wow. We've got uh, a plethora of horses. That's but, a big uh, family. We, it is. It, talk about feeding mouths in the evening. But uh, <laughs> uh, the good news is we also board horses there for the general public, and people keep uh, their horses out there. And we do all kinds of trail rides and community events and events for like Alzheimer's. So. Kent, where are you originally from? Are you originally from this area? Yep. or Because you've, you've got the, you know, I mean, people are from Missouri and Kansas City and Kansas and all that have the accent, but you've got an accent. I, so. fuse a l I confuse a lot of people. I am from Kansas City. There we um, go. I was raised here and uh, went to Raytown South High School and graduated from University of Missouri. So there we go. Uh, I am a Kansas City guy. When were you in, at, at, at Mizzou? Um, I graduated in 84 from Mizzou. Okay, so I was there before you, So, because I graduated from Mizzou, but it goes far, a little bit farther back there than that. Um, and we're also joined with Dr. Uh, by Dr. Russell Swerdlow, the director of the KU Alzheimer's Disease Center. Uh, thank you for joining us. Tell us about the center and, and the services that you guys provide. Well, the, uh, the Alzheimer's Disease Center is uh, one of 29 centers um, in the country that plays a role in... Um, directing Alzheimer's research and, and really what our goal is to, is to uh, come up with treatments for people who have Alzheimer's disease and to uh, come up with ways to, to protect people from getting it. What, and g give us a quick explanation. I was joking with you and said, give me the 15, mi 15 not 15 minute, 15 word explanation of Alzheimer's, but what, what's going on with Alzheimer's uh, to, with an individual when they get that? Well, you know, Alzheimer's disease is just an incredibly common uh, 
disease of the brain, and it tends to affect uh, older people, although younger people can be affected as well. And, uh, you know, many of us know someone or are related to someone who had Alzheimer's disease, and, um, you know, the memories fade, and it's, it's uh, you know, we need we there's some stuff we can do to help but we need to be able to do uh better and uh through research we're going to uh we're going to be able to to help people better to solve the problem yeah and uh now kent you have a uh you've got this the whole horse and the horse racing background and uh obviously this event is all centered around the kentucky derby that we're going to talk about here in a second but but what brought you together to create the event, which is called Casey Derby Fest, yep. Derby and Fest it benefits the Alzheimer's Association. Derby Fest was created uh, going on uh, five years ago. Uh, a gentleman by the name of Jim Watry, who runs the Power and Light District, um, runs Maker's Mark Restaurant. Obviously, they're from Kentucky. He wanted to throw a community party, and so they reached out to a local racehorse guy, which happened to be me. <laughs> so uh, thus, the Kansas City Derby Fest was born, but in that process we wanted to make sure we gave money back to the community it's always nice to have a party but uh, wrap it around charity and do something that's really worthwhile is kind of makes life worth living so uh, uh, and during this last few years a great friend of mine Kirk Salm we've been buddies since they were born unfortunately he came down with a disease at age 48 and that's really yeah. is that really young Doc? yeah you know sort of. sometimes these things affect young people it's uh it's just as tragic yeah, yeah. so he came down with it and yeah so he came down with it and uh so it just made extra extra common sense in my world to uh, have this fantastic community party that we've been putting on and wrapping around uh, the alzheimer's prevention and cure and i've now hooked up with the ku alzheimer's disease center and uh we're we're excited as we can be about it because once again uh, we get to have the kentucky derby party that's like no other uh, event and the, the venue at the Power and Light District is just fantastic. And now we get to give those monies that we raise uh, towards uh, KU and, and uh, cure this problem. Right. And so all the money that you raise stays here in Kansas City. Yes, Steve. A hundred percent of the monies that we raised, it's really a, a year-long process. But the day of the event, which is sure. May 4th, all the monies that we raise that day stay right here. And they're all going to be donated right to the KU Alzheimer's Disease Center. And the amazing thing that I found out uh, f- from checking out your information is... Uh, the KU Alzheimer's Disease Center receives no public funding or monies from KU, so this is how they they operate? That's right. Um, I mean, Russ can speak to this maybe a little sure. bit more than I can, but uh, basically he said they're one of 29 centers, so they get a little bit of fun, uh, federal uh, supplement. Sure. But uh, they get some of the privileges of uh, KU and the Med Center, but as far as their funding goes, it's up to them to raise their funds to do what they're doing. So. And that's an incredible process, I, I bet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Our major, uh, our major support comes from the National Institutes of Aging at the National Institutes of Health. But um, you know what we're able to get done and accomplish is directly proportional to the amount of support we get. And um, our biggest source of support after after the National Institutes of Health is uh, is philanthropy and, and events like this. So I'm I'm just very grateful to uh, to Kent for. Um, for doing this you know steve i'm 50 my good buddy was 48 when he came down with it so wow. i feel like i'm paying this forward a little bit so i'm trying to hurry the process along and raising <laughs> funds get, get russ as much money as we can so when i get to that point it, it'll be ready to be taken care yeah, of yeah there we go that's that's great attitude yeah. great <laughs> great approach yeah, for that right. uh so let's talk about the event uh again uh we're talking with uh kent friend and dr russell swerdlow we're talking about uh Kansas City Derby Fest. Um, let's start off that you've got a website. Yeah, it's kcderbyfest.com. People can go to that website. Not only uh, can you donate online, you can text uh, to donate. Uh, you can buy tickets uh, right there on the website. So kcderbyfest.com has got all the information you need to find out about the event. Um, but we're going to fill you in here. Yeah, we're, we're going to tell you about you it, here. though, too. Let's talk about the details. Um, again, where is the event? It's down in the Power and Light it's District? It's at the Power and Light District, as, as we like to call it, the live block. That's the courtyard area out there between all the restaurants and uh, nightclubs. And uh, it's got a huge big screen TV on one end of it. It's got a stage. And uh, obviously we pipe in Churchill Downs, the Kentucky Derby that day. So the people that get to go to the party that day, um, they learn a lot about horse racing, but they have a lot of fun also. For sure. Now you have all sorts of activities planned. Uh, fill us in on some of the other things you, you know, got at some auctions and, yeah, and stuff but like that. One of, the, one of the most exciting parts of the day, at least for the ladies, is the hat contest. And people get out there and they see the Kentucky Derby and they see all the ladies wearing fancy hats. We have that right here in Kansas City. And so we actually have a hat contest. And 
and uh, donate some prizes uh, uh, to the winners there. Obviously, a Kentucky Derby tradition is brought here to Kansas City and is a part and of your absolutely. party. Absolutely, and part of that is we like to wash it down with a mint julep yeah. too. Yeah, <clears throat> And, uh, you know, when you're in Rome, do as Romans. So, <laughs> so yeah, we, we have some great uh, beverages available there through Maker's Mark. And uh, like I said, just have a great day. You're going to have a raffle and some auctions. Yeah, everybody likes to you know everybody likes away. to do a little gambling, but we got to keep it legal. So we do a raffle uh, where people get to buy tickets and, and bet on the horse that they think will come in as the winner. And then uh, if that horse does come in, we we draw the raffle ticket out. Whoever has that number uh, wins the pot. So nice. it, it's it's uh, it's nice 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 amount of money. And you recommend that people wear their best derby attire. Now, you might not have Yeah, that's this, right. You, you might not have to dress as, as well as I do, but Harold Pinter loves me coming <laughs> in shopping every year. And, and But absolutely, it's fun. It's a party, and you kind of dress the occasion. So, Dr. Uh, Swerdlow, uh, are you going to be wearing the derby attire? Uh, well, it, are, you, are you raiding his closet? I, I'm, I'm there wearing we go. my derby attire here. I have a horse on that's my... That's a polo horse. Uh, you know, it's a a horse is a horse. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. Exactly I, I, I grew up in New York. And, 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 and the horses that I rode were the ones in front of the supermarket where you put a dime yeah. and you rock back yeah, and, and forth. And now it's probably a dollar. Yeah, <laughs> I, I call that the Kmart pony. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, for sure. I've, I've put my kids on that, and that, that's pretty exciting. And I had the, ro- the horse that I sat in front of the tv and bounced on it that was that oh was absolutely it. now yeah. it's probably very unsafe because kids get pinched by the springs or something like that's that that's right you have a live band that's also yes, going to be we, out there we, who has the name that, that sent to me sounded like a, it, it, a, a racehorse name yeah too. this is this is a great band they're a local band uh they're called no cash value <laughs> and uh, my good friend john harrison is part of that band and they've been playing for us the whole time every year oh that's uh, terrific and so they donate their services too and they're a crowd favorite uh so they play in the background while we're doing some of these other events and we cut in and out tell people what's going on with the different races and educate them and do the hat contest and the raffle. Sure. And then we also have a live auction, too. Right. So uh, it's one of the great things we do is, uh, you know, people donate some great prizes, hot air balloon rides, trips to, uh, to California or to Florida. And one of the neat things that we have is, a, is our ranch experience. So the band, No Cash Value, comes out to my ranch. We have a hay ride, and then Maker's Mark caters the food for 100 people. Wow. So they really get the feeling of ranch life a little bit. And with us only being 11 miles from downtown, it's easy for anybody. But uh, that usually goes uh, anywhere between three and $5,000 wow. for people. And corporations buy it, and they have their fall party or neighborhood party oh, or sure. church party. Oh, uh, that's fantastic. Yeah, it's a great, great event, though. But. Now, you've got a guy that helps MC with you at the event. And I'm, I have to tell a story. The first time we had done this radio show for four and a half years, and or for four years, and then I decided we're going to bring in these TV cameras. The first guy we invited on our show for our TV show was John Holt uh, from TV4, yeah. and uh, he, you know, we asked him some questions about doing a TV show, and he br- pulls out his, his compact with his makeup and things like that. And He's he ready. Was, he was a wonder. I mean, he, you know, it was all in fun, but it was, he was a wonderful sport. Tell us about John. J- John has become a great friend. I mean, he's one of the fantastic guys in the community. Not only is he an excellent newscaster, he's truly a community-minded person. Uh, we are Agreed. blessed to have him in Kansas City. Uh, he's had plenty of opportunities to go elsewhere, but this is his home, and he loves it. Uh, but John's great. One of the one of the fun lines I, I always tell about John is he looks over at me or did last year or the year before and said, Kent, if the crowd's having half as much fun as we're having up here, <laughs> then they're having a blast. But, yeah, uh, he's a great MC, and we play back and forth. It's like stick stand up comedy and improv and. Uh, I guarantee everyone that comes down to the Derby event will be leaving with a smile on their face. For sure. And I want to also mention that uh, that uh, uh, there is a kickoff party that's going on. You've got it. Uh, yeah, we're doing next week. Is, is yeah, that? Ne- so, ne- so when this show starts playing on the 13th, you've got this kickoff party that's going on at, at our friends at Mafia Pizzeria where we've yeah, done our show. Mafia Pizzeria is holding a pizza party for us next uh, Saturday night, the 13th, from 5 to 7. <laughs> And it's uh, fifteen dollars a person. Kids are free, and so come out there, eat some pizza, and have a little conversation. I'll have a couple racehorses out there, so people actually get to see real live racehorses and get a chance to kind of mingle and talk. And you know, it's 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 kind of a, a sport of mystique, or people don't really understand it at all, mm-hmm. and so they're real curious about it. So it's kind of fun to for me and, and some of the people that I'm associated with to get a chance to just mingle with the crowd and talk to them about racehorses and jockeys and bet and what all it takes. Sure. So this is one of the events that's going to help raise funds for the Alzheimer's yep. Center uh, that precedes this particular event. Now, uh, you're also looking for sponsors, additional sponsors a- a- for absolutely. the Derby Fest. Absolutely. Tell us about the packages. Yeah, absolutely. We have different packages. 
packages. Uh, we got a three thousand dollar package, a five thousand dollar package, obviously uh, whatever's appropriate for a company. But uh, they get some reserve seating. They get the balcony area down at the Power and Light District, and uh, uh, they'll definitely really enjoy the day if they want to take their customers, to take their employees down there. We've had people take a family reunion to the party before. Uh, they get on a bus in Johnson County, and they all go down to the party. So uh, we got the sponsor package available. Of course, once again, raising money, we need to do that. Sure. You know, one, one of the facts that uh, kind of brings this home, about 50% of everybody out there is going to catch Alzheimer's or come down wow. with Alzheimer's wow. at some point in their life. So, you know, the three of us sitting here. Uh-oh. You know, Uh-oh. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's probably going to hit one of us. So, uh, But the, with the sponsorship package, this is, once again, a chance for a company that's locally based or has a branch in Kansas City to give back to their community in a way that, once again, the funds stay right here in Kansas City. That is true. And do it in a fun way. Yeah, absolutely. And so you've been doing this for five years. Yep. Um, you know, it, it's pretty exciting type of thing that you have going on now. You can reach Kent at 816-803-7406. That's Correct. the number to reach you about sponsorships yeah, and, any, any and tickets and things like yeah, that. Any corporate sponsor wants to talk to me because I understand everyone's got a budget, but uh, we can help you out there. Just give me a call and we'll talk about it. Absolutely. Now, on a, a side note, do you think there will ever be a racehorse that will win the Triple Crown like Seattle Slough? Yeah, Um well, we'll get back to Seattle Slough in a second. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But um, uh, absolutely, I, th- I think there's one out there. It's it's a little bit different than it used to be, but the horse quality is so tremendous, Steve, that mm-hmm. they're all one in first place. You know, there's not one of those 20 horses that show up in the Kentucky Derby think they're going to take second. Uh-huh. And, and they're all there. They're unbelievable athletes, and most of those horses want to win. Just like the one that I brought out here today that everyone will get to see in a second. When I pulled the trailer around the barn, he was wagging his tail like a dog wanting to jump in the back of the pickup truck. I mean, he's <laughs> excited. He wants to go. These guys are athletes. Right. They love to compete. They love to run. Uh, but with that being said, it takes an extra special horse to ever get to Kentucky uh, on the Derby. Um, but I do believe we'll see a Triple Crown winner in our lifetime. Yep. yep. I think we'll have one of those. Now, yep. have you ever been to the the actual Kentucky Derby? Yes. I, w- yeah, I was going to expe- you know, say. So how many times have you been to well, the Kentucky Derby? Uh, I've been to the Kentucky Derby five times. Um, wow. The last time I was out there uh, was when Barbaro had won it. And unfortunately, we know the story about Barbaro, where in a subsequent race, uh, he, he broke his leg and right. eventually had to, uh, you know, uh, you know, leave us. Right. But, um, uh, yeah, Kentucky Derby is a fantastic deal. But the next time I'm going, I'm going when I have a horse out there, at least racing that day. <laughs> and, and back to and back to John Holt. He says that's great. We'll do a live feed from Kentucky, yes. and, I get, and I get to go with you. Yeah. So uh, we're hoping that uh, maybe next year or the following year that we'll have a horse that comes along that can at least race that day because they race ten different races that day. So, Doctor okay. Swerdlow, how long have you been involved with this particular event? How many years have you have you been through the all uh, five years? This this is the uh, this is the first year. Oh, okay. Yeah. So so we're just uh, we're just thrilled. But you know. Kent, you, you said that I was like the the honored guest here. I guess you know the, the, you meant the horse. <laughs> yeah, the, the the we're just pawns in the chess game. The real attraction to the show today is Trick, who we'll be showing you here in a second on the line. For sure, for yeah. sure. Well, we're we're getting close to our uh, end of our time here, but uh, I want to make sure we get the information out, Kent. <laughs> fill us in on the phone number and the website and yep. all that kind of stuff so we can make sure that if people, even if they just want to send ten dollars or something right. like that, they can do that as well. KCDerbyFest.com. dot com. And once again, you can donate online. It also gives you the text uh, text to donate oh, awesome. option there. So you can donate any money you want. If you can't make the event, that's fine. Obviously, we still would appreciate your donation. Uh, buy your ticket in advance. Uh, How we, much is the ticket? The tickets are $35 and then $75 for reserve seating. And I recommend the $75 ticket, obviously. But you, uh, you get some uh, party gifts and you get a great meal and you get a drink ticket and you get some other things. But Terrific. Yeah. Uh, Kent Friend, thank you for joining us. Dr. Russell Swerdlow, thank you for joining us. Uh, keep up the fight, most definitely. Uh, we want to see it <laughs> taken care of before we get, get to that statistic. Absolutely. Uh, I want to become a sure. statistic on this. <laughs> for sure. That'll do it for our show today. My thanks to our host for today's show, the Kansas City Ice Center, and our guests from KCIC, Dean Nelson and Rick Hawkins, plus Kent Friend and Dr. Russell Swerdlow uh, for the fundraiser, the Derby Fest, which is a fundraiser for the KU Alzheimer's Center. A disease program, and you can find out more at kcderbyfest.com. Be sure to join me, Steve Fish, again.
again next week uh, at the same time for Good Sports, KC Sports and Fitness Show. And check out some of our other shows on YouTube. Search for the Good Sports KC channel. So until next week, be sure to read all about sports, health, and exercise in Kansas City Sports and Fitness Magazine. You will find it all over Kansas City, and it's free, so pick one up today. These days, we're all so busy, and many of us ignore our health and let stress turn into chronic pain. Dr. Lynn McIntosh of Kansas City Chiropractic can provide you with the proper care to relieve pain and stress and improve your health and get more out of life. To make an appointment with Dr. McIntosh, call 816-753-4600. Most insurance plans are welcome. And this month, save $25 on Class 4 laser treatment when you mention KC Sports and Fitness. For more information on Dr. McIntosh and Kansas City Chiropractic, go online at kansascitychiropractic.com. Rent a yellow school bus for your next group activity and receive 10% off your trip if taken before March 31st, 2013. Just mention KC Sports when you call 866-514-8747. That's right, receive 10% off your yellow school bus rental if you take your trip before March 31st. For the discount, be sure to mention KC Sports when you call 866-514-8747. Let First Student Charter Bus Rental get your group to the next special event. Choose yellow, choose first. Experience a touch of the Ozarks when you tee off at Winterstone Golf Course in Independence. Visit winterstonegolf.com for daily specials and call 816-257-5755 for lessons or information on tournament hosting. With your coupon in KC Sports and Fitness, get two large one-topping pizzas for just $14.99 at Mafia Mike's at 87th and Lackman and Mafia Pizzeria Southside at 127th and Metcalf. It's pizza you can't refuse. With the current trend to live a greener lifestyle, many people and businesses now recycle their electronics. At the Surplus Exchange, your e-waste will never go to a landfill or incinerator, nor will we allow e-waste to be shipped overseas. Some companies employ this tactic and end up polluting other countries with our waste. All materials are safely tracked, destroyed, or reclaimed right here in the U.S. The Surplus Exchange is Kansas City's link between industry, charity, and the environment. To find out more, visit surplusexchange.org. Sign up now for Get Golf Ready classes at the heart of America Golf Academy or take advantage of the great adult, junior, and family play and practice programs. For more information, call the Heart of America Golf Academy at 816-513-8940 or visit hoagolfacademy.com. Bring basketball fever to your own backyard or driveway with your very own game court from Sport Court of Kansas City. Let Sport Court come and install a basketball game court at your home. Game courts can also be installed for volleyball, racket sports, soccer, tennis, or roller hockey. So sink that basket at the buzzer and have your own Final Four at home in your backyard or driveway Sport Court. For more details, call Sport Court at 913-963-7529 or visit sportcourtkc.com. Mention KC Sports when you buy a large specialty pizza and get a small one topping free at any of the three old Shawnee Pizza locations, Shawnee, KCK, and Lenexa. Visit ShawneePizza.com for menu and details. The Kansas City Ice Center's Outdoor Pavilion is now open. Sign up now for Learn to Skate and Learn to Play Hockey classes, Spring Leagues for Ice and Inline Hockey, and upcoming hockey camps at the Kansas City Ice Center. Plus, come out to a public skating session or call them to schedule a party or group rental. The Kansas City Ice Center is located two miles west of 435 on Johnson Drive. For more information or to register for a class, visit kcicecenter.com or call 913-441-3033. Eagles Landing Golf Course is the place to play golf in the Southland and is by far the best golf value around. Visit EaglesLandingGolfCourse.com and for tee times, call 816-318-0004 and make the drive to see why Eagles Landing is the best golf value in KC. For all your award, trophy, and promotional needs, contact Jim at Regal Awards and Advertising Specialties. Call 913-451-5744 or visit RegalAwards.com. Golf Week calls it the best course you can play in Kansas. But once you play, you'll want to stay. Go for it. Firekeeper Golf Course at Prairie Band Casino and Resort is just north of Topeka off Highway 75. Our stay and play package is worth the trip. Luxury hotel room, green fees, and golf cart for two, starting at just $169.
goal is a new teaching aid to help with your putting by letting you see the line of the putt from the ball to the target. For more information on this new product that can improve your game, visit thegoalofputting.com or call 816-582-3530. Phone Fix is KC's cell phone repair shop. Save $10 on any repair with your coupon from KC Sports. Call 913-735-9411 or stop by Phone Fix next to Buffalo Wild Wings south of Strangline in Olathe. Sign up now for Cargo Largo's annual Cargo for Kids charity golf tournament June 21st at Drum Farm. For more details about this event, visit CargoLargo.com slash Cargo for Kids or email info at CargoLargo.com. Someone has to motivate her. Someone has to prepare him. Someone has to lead them. Someone has to train them. Heritage College. Train to be a personal trainer. Get started today. Call 1-866-845-3613. That's 1-866-845-3613. 